departments who put together the coolers here this afternoon and Brenda McGinnis for a great job on Labor Day Monday here at Summerside. The afternoon's finale, we got Brad Trivers, MLA District 18, Rustico Emerald in the starting gate for the finale. They're in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. Let's go upstairs to Vance Cameron. Coach to Coach Sharp, Pep in my step, Hunger Pang, Stoney Curtis, Dylan Sam, Soccer Hanover, Rymar Jimbo, top of the stretch. Approaching a start. Finale time. The rough and pacing coast to coast shark. The first one out. Second is Pep in my step. Racing from third. As they move round the turn is Hunger Pains. Coming fourth on the outside. That's Dylan Sam to get away fifth is Soccer Hanover. Then it's Stony Curtis and the trailer. Rymar Jimbo up the back stretch they go. Led by Coach to Coach Shark. In line to Dale Spence has a two length advantage. Pep in my step got away second at long odds. Racing from third, that's Hunger Pains. Fourth up the rail, Dylan Sam. Soccer Hanover fifth, Stony Curtis sixth. Rymar Jimbo seven, 28. Seconds flat was the opening quarter. Rounding the paddock turn on top at the 3 8 pole. That is Coast to Coast Shark. Racing from second is Pep in my step. Third one coming off of the turn is Hunger Pangs. Moving on the outside fourth. Soccer Hanover underway. Coming fifth on the outside is Stony Curtis. Up the rail, Dylan Sam is sixth. On the outside seventh, Rymar Jimbo. They're halfway home in the finale, 58. And four, racing around the turn, approaching five eights, the unchallenged leader with three eights to go. Coast to Coast Shark, and he got a soft second panel in. Racing second is Pep in my step. Soccer Hanover, the heavy favorite, has some work to do and running out of time to do it. While racing fourth is Hunger Pains. Then in fifth, Tony Curtis. Dylan Sam is sixth. Rymar Jimbo seventh. The three quarters in one. 27 and one. Eighth of a mile out. And that's Coast to Coast Shark with a big time lead. Soccer Hanover starts to close in late. But is it too late? Down the stretch they come, and it's coast to coast shark to take Dale Spence all the way. Soccer Hanover moves up for second, and the show prize goes to Rymar Jimbo. The time for the mile to close it out, 1.56, 2. Here comes a slow-mo replay brought to you by Universal Media for the afternoon's 15th race finale, New London Volunteer Fire Department pace. And it was coast to coast shark right down the road, 28-58-4, 127-1, 156-2, and first win of the season for this horse, Dale Spence in the bike. Soccer Hanover in there for second, he came first over. Reimer Jimbo gets up for third. So it's 167 unofficially in the afternoon's finale. We'll see Coast to Coast Shark and Dale Spence back in the Woodmere Standard Bridge Winter Circle next. The final cooler presentation on our race card today is New London Volunteer Fire Department. We welcome Chief Alan Cole along with several of his members joining us here today. New London has 35 members who answer approximately 70 calls a year. Their equipment includes two pumpers, two tankers, rescue and rapid response vehicles, they're also in the process of fundraising by taking part in the island-wide fire department's 50-50 draw and their yearly elimination draw that is held each June. These funds will go towards a new rescue boat. On behalf of us all, we thank them for their dedication to our communities.
Coach to Coast Shark arriving at the 15th race winner's circle. Big patient gelding 10 by Coach to Coast Yankee from the Cam's Card Shark Dam. Sassy Little Shark, a homebred of Shirley Wallace of Alberta. Trained by Jeff Wallace, Dale Spence put the veteran pacer on top at every call, and he's never been better than he just was this afternoon here at Summerside. He paces to a new race win record of 156 and 2. Coast to Coast Shark. In the